Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hen House. I'm Angela Newfeld. I'm so excited to be here today, and I have an amazing, amazing lady to interview named Gail Arnold. Um, so before we get to that, I'll just quickly tell you about the Hen House. Like, basically what it is is that I interview um, creative women in business to inspire and motivate other people in small business to, at any age, any um any time in their life, any crisis, anytime they're reinventing themselves, anything, when you want to start or grow your business, that's what it's all about. And it's just about inspiring other people to do um, amazing things. And I'm Angela Neufeld. I'm a creative business growth strategist and productivity coach, also known as the pen and paper coach. Um, it's my mission to provide creative and practical solutions to women um, and help them with organization, strategy, um, planning routine and all over helping you create a healthier work life and home balance. So um, today in the head house, I'm going to let Gail take the floor and introduce herself so that we can get to know you and all about your business. Welcome, Gail. Thank you, Angela. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited you're here. Tell us everything about you and what you do. Uh, well, I specialize in working with women who are sick and tired of sleepwalking through their lives mm -hmm. and they're ready to reclaim their vitality and start living the life they truly deserve to be living. Mm -hmm. um, Love that. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been there and uh, I really believe that we all need to be living a life that we truly love and uh, that our bodies, to, to, to really live that life, we need to feel good in our bodies. Our bodies need to feel good so that so that they can so that we can experience all those beautiful wonderful things there there are in the world all the adventures and all the new people you know that we meet and yeah, uh, totally. all, all the pleasure and everything so uh, yeah I started this my business in 2011 after um, working in the corporate world for 20 something years and wow. I was sick and tired and oh uh, I left my job crying many times and I thought I just can't live this way and um, in I believe it was in September of 2000, uh, 2010 I, I entered a contest uh, with Rick Steves do you know who Rick Steves is no uh, he writes these budget travel books Europe through the back door oh interesting no I never heard yeah well I, I entered a contest on his website because I love travel I love travel and I won a trip to Paris so um, after the week that I won that trip, oh, I, was, so cool. I was like, I'm out of here. I couldn't, that, that <laughs> job was over. So, no looking back. <laughs> yeah, right. I thought, I felt like the universe was telling me something that it was time to take charge and for, that I needed to be doing what I needed to create this life I loved, that I loved living. And uh, so I had always been interested in, um, you know, healthy lifestyle choices, and um, I had done several things to improve my, um, to upgrade my health, so I knew I'd be able to help other people do that, and I specialize in helping women um, get their hormones back into balance. Oh, cool. So this isn't something, this business isn't something that you plan and went to school to do and everything. This is just came about from all these different changes and things in your life. Well, you know, I believe that um, living why not live? Uh, I love travel and I love uh, feeling good and I love exercise. And so why not put all those things together? I love eating good food. Um, I love feeling good. So why not make a life doing those things I love doing? You know, so um, I was certified at the Institute of Integrative Nutrition as a health coach. And I was also certified to teach yoga. And so those are things I love doing. And you know, I love travel, so why not put all that together? Oh, I like that. Me. That's really neat. How fun is that? Awesome. So what makes your business um, unique? What is special about it? Already I can tell some things, but like, um, what's your special sauce? Um, well, I truly have a passion for understanding um, how to bring things into our body that, to upgrade to upgrade our food, to upgrade uh, our, um, the, the things we put into our bodies, uh, the way we move, um, because that's what it's all about, you know? And 
you know, the experiences that we have in our life, the relationships that we have, um, to enjoy all of those, our body needs to be good, in a good place. And I also believe that, um, you know, your, our thoughts have a lot to do with how our body feels. So um, I feel like if you start uh, working on one of those things, on your thoughts, um, your upgrading your food, your exercise, uh, one of those things, then the other things kind of fall into line. Totally. So, yeah, and, and you know, you get to this point in your life, um, women especially, we've done all these things, we've uh, raised families, we've worked in the corporate world. A lot of times we've lived by somebody else's shoulds or shouldn'ts. Mm -hmm. you know? um, so Isn't that funny you said that? Because that is so, that is totally, I'm totally passionate about that. Um, well, yes. Why well, do we do that? Why do we feel that there's this like black and white place that we have to be on one side or the other and we're gonna we're going to follow the certain way that is the standard way of that this is the way that it is and this is how you should be and this is the what you sh how you well, should live your life and have the you know yeah I kind of think it's because as human animals we all want to fit in you know we have this desire to be like everybody else because then we feel like we belong um, and well, that's so, true. That's true. We're like herders, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's a natural thing. But then I also think um, our individuality, giving away our individuality, we lose so much. And, you know, for me in my life, that part of my life was never nurtured um, mm -hmm. by the people that my caregivers never gave me that, that, that desire to be, to search out my, what I was truly passionate about. Um, or if I tried to, it was squashed, you know, and, um, you know, so I think at some point we get to, at, at, when we get to a certain age, we're like, I'm so done with that. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, you can see the, the future is much closer than it was, you know, 10 years ago. And you just, for me, I decided if something was going to happen, I needed to make it happen. You know, that's totally a, yeah, and that's totally a mindset thing when you're told at a younger age that uh, the squash thing where your ideas are squashed and that's your creativity coming out and your, your own personality and passions coming out right. and they're squashed where no, we don't do that or no, no, you're not capable of that. And we carry that along with us for years and then we come to a certain age where we're like, oh, yes, I can. Why was I? And maybe we created that in ourselves. Maybe nobody actually even said that to you. Like that's a possibility, and yet we have all these beliefs inside of us that we have to shed, and, right. and uh, realize that we're capable of amazing things. And other humans are out there doing it and having fun and doing what they love, and so can we. <laughs> well, that was one of the things that I remember thinking at that time that I jumped because I had no safety net. I'm single. I had no husband to support me. I just jumped. You know, and because I was so done with it, I was so done with it. And I just, I remember thinking, if that person can do it, I'm a person, I can do it too. You know, and it hasn't been easy. You know, it's, it's been very, very, very challenging. Um, but in that, in this process, I've, I've um, become a different person. Um, somebody who I like much better. <laughs> oh, that's really you know, cool. Um, so and what I, kind of um, what kind of clients do you help? Like, what do they have us? Like, what? Who is your ideal client? Just so that we know, like, who who do you love to help? And are um, women that are, of course, I'm sure we uh, women that are motivated, really motivated to make that change, really motivated to get out of this this feeling, this drab, heavy feeling that they have. They want things to be better. You know, they, or, or they want to feel better. You know, they want to feel better. You know, and some of it may be that they're in a, uh, a bad relationship, that they're in uh, a job they don't like, you know, uh, and they're carrying extra weight. They just don't feel good. And women that are super motivated to get past the challenges of, um, you know, maybe that they've had before of not being able to make changes. But a real, that's my biggest thing now is the whole motivation. It's like I tried to work with clients that they just want the quick fix. You know, quick fix, obviously, um, 
it may be quick, but it's not long lasting. And I want and I want to work with people that are ready to make lifelong sustainable changes. You know, because it is a definite um, mind shift, and uh, it's a process. You know, you find um, try one thing, and that might not get you where you want to be. So try something else. But they're willing to you know take their body and experiment with different things and find the one that fits with them the best. Very you know. cool. So you do more than just um, like uh, wellness and nutritional coaching. You're also doing like an overall motivation, like getting them unstuck, that kind of thing. Yes. Yes. The situation is. Okay, cool. I understand yeah. that. Awesome. So I'd love if you could tell us like something like um, – tips and ideas that you could share with everybody that, or even one is totally awesome that you could share with everybody that they could do or use today to be more motivated or feel better or um, get unstuck or whatever your specialty is. Well, I do believe that um, the, the physical body, um, when it's you, you, your body starts feeling better then you're able to, um, uh, be more motivated to qu make, ask questions and to try different things. So one of the first things that I suggest, and it's super simple, is to start supplementing with magnesium. Mm. And, um, magnesium, we're all deficient in magnesium because our food supply isn't as nutritious as it used to be because our soil has been depleted um, with toxins and all that stuff. And just that, and magnesium is inexpensive. Um, it's it's uh, depending on which one works the best for your body. Um, it'll help you sleep better. It'll give you more energy. Um, if you're this is if you're constipated, it'll help with that. <laughs> uh, it actually uh, fire all the systems in your body need magnesium. So you probably will start feeling better. And you won't even be able to pinpoint what it is. Maybe your mood will just feel, you know, you'll feel more at beat. Maybe you'll sleep a little bit longer, more restful sleep. Um, maybe your stomach will feel better. But just that one little thing, uh, introducing the magnesium supplement in, um, can make huge improvements. You know, oh, cool. in I love that. That's a really awesome tip. I love that. I didn't know that it helped you sleep or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew that it was... Um, that we were definitely lacking in it, but not enough reason for me to be like, I need that. <laughs> well, the reason, um, I also, I'm, I'm hypothyroid. And uh, so I'm always paying attention to uh, what supports my thyroid. Oh, interesting. Okay. Lots uh, of people will find that this really interesting if that's something that. Yeah. Well, for one of the things I do in the morning is I have a, a morning tea, an elixir, that has um, uh, bladder whack and uh, kelp and nettle leaves and coconut oil. And I also put mushrooms in it. Chaga oh my mushrooms. gosh. Are you going to share your recipe with us? That sounds really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, oh, I, I can tell such a difference. But all really? of that so far. It supports my um, thyroid. Um, it also gives me, it's a routine, uh, sort of like a little ritual I have in the morning. I love having that tea in the morning. I sit and I read a book and I drink my tea. I also put matcha, matcha tea. Okay. And tea and that's a energizing. And um, is that the green tea powder? Yes. Okay. Matcha is green tea, uh, the powder. And um, I also add a little bit of honey for sweetness. And that supports my thyroid. But mm -hmm. that, um, I was still not getting, I felt like I wasn't uh, as vibrant as I as I wanted to be and I went to my naturopath a couple of weeks ago and she made the suggestion of the magnesium you know so and then I started doing more research and and I I have magnesium drops that I add to my water and I immediately I felt a difference really I, I'm so yeah. gonna do this thanks yeah. for that awesome tip I'm totally gonna try that well it's just that's just one simple thing that I tell my clients right away and that, that helps with sleep, energy. Um, it can even help you with your digestive tract. Um, you know, it does a lot of things. Your mood, you know, and all of those impact everything. 
Yeah, that's totally cool. And especially and that talking about your mood, because when we hit a certain age, <laughs> mm-hmm. I just turned 40 and oh I, have, I have three kids, 22, oh well, he's going to be 22, 15 and 10. He's going to be 11. And I mm-hmm. feel the difference in my, um, from when 30 and 40, like I really feel the difference. I'm quite tired a lot more and I just, there's this, this shift and I've been really incorporating a lot more exercise into my life and now it's becoming a habit that I actually miss, but I'm going to really, I'm going to try this magnesium because I find that um, I, I'm not, been, I'm not an insomniac, but I, like I don't have those kinds of patterns, but I, I feel like no matter what, I can't get enough sleep. Um, but I'm a, a night owl and I want to stay up and I want to do stuff and I'm, I'm motivated by, I mean, I'm motivated and inspired with my business and I love to work on it. And so sometimes I'm not um, as strict as I'd like with my time. So I'm, I'm constantly either super high energy or super tired. I have a hard time finding that happy middle ground. Well, so when we start getting to that um, perimenopausal age or time, um, you know, that's when hormones really, it's a natural thing that hormones kind of start getting wacky. Uh, progesterone drops, which means estrogen goes up. Um, and if you have, uh, we all experience different levels of adrenal fatigue, just living in the world that we live in. And once your adrenals start getting impacted, um, that impacts your, the next thing is your thyroid. And then the next thing is estrogen. So if you start supporting your adrenals, which magnesium can help with that too, that's, that's an electrolyte, um, then you're going to help support the thyroid. So, but as we start getting to that perimenopausal thing, you know, things kind of do kind of start going a little wacky. But if you're taking <laughs> care of yourself earlier, then when you get to that phase, when you start more in menopause, then it's not going to be as difficult. You know, you're not going to experience the really awful effects of going through menopause. Oh, that's good. Great advice. Thanks, Gail. That's so awesome. So I would love to know, um, like something that, what are you most proud of with this business and that what you've created so far? I'm excited well, about. Actually, um, so it's, it has been really difficult. Like the past, uh, four years has, have been really difficult. Some of it has been finding what I'm super passionate about, where I really fit. And um, so I'm always doing these free trainings and, you know, free webinars and things like that. And I was on a webinar last year uh, at the end of the year. And she was talking about, um, I want you to pick words for, to, for your upcoming year or a word that, that, that will be your word for that year. So um, I did all this writing and everything, and I came up with two words, stable clarity. And I have it written up on my whiteboard. And um, so this year, I have really found my stable clarity. I've created this new program that I call Midlife Magic. And it's all about um, women, you know, in that age, 45 on up. Um, that are ready to reclaim their vitality. Midlife magic. I totally love that name. That would totally entice me. I love it. Yeah. So, so the the idea of the midnight midlife madness to midlife magic. Okay. You know, is that targeted at a certain age group? You said forty five to forty five to you know up. Okay. <laughs> you know because uh, you know I could be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I, the way I want to live, I still have tons of stuff I want to do. I've got to go back to Paris. I've got to go to Australia again. I've got to go to Italy. I have to do all that stuff. I've got to do the, the, um, the bike trip along the Loire. I've got to, uh, go oh my to gosh, I'm coming with you. Cause that, those are all on my bucket list. <laughs> oh, no, no, I've got to do all that stuff. That is a, a huge passion. On my vision board, I have all that stuff on my vision board. Oh, that is um, so cool. So, and I've got my body. I need my body to do all those things. And yes, needs, we do. Yeah, and it needs to be working um, at the best it can possibly work. 
So the, the, I need to do things to make that happen. Wow, you're a super trooper. You're so inspirational, Gail. It's unbelievable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I truly believe that. And there are plenty of women out there like me, you know, that are ready to do that stuff, um, that want to. And I, my huge overall dream is to do international retreats and, um, you know, to take women to Paris and to take women to Italy and, and um, you know, do that bike trip along the, the Loire. And, um, and one of the other things I want to do is do a canal trip. Oh, in sign me up. <laughs> I'm, in. I'm in. Okay, good, good, awesome. Good. Well, that's so cool. Tell us more about your, um, that new program. Midlife well, Magic, was it? Midlife Magic. Midlife Magic. Yeah. Tell us more about what that's going to consist of and... Um, well, we're going to be working on getting the hormones, um, you know, back into balance. Um, I really would like everybody to do some testing. I'm going to recommend some testing. And along the way, we'll be um, making some, some food changes. And, you know, there'll be, I'll be talking about supplements and, um, you know, blood sugar balance, uh, toxins, you know, and then... Um, the last part of it is going to be mastering your magic, you know? Uh, so, um, I really want to, I believe that hormones are that magic and that we can you, we can, uh, get our hormones to a place where we feel the very best that we can possibly feel at the age that we are. And we don't have to carry extra weight. We can sleep well at night. Um, and have all that energy and focus that we need to be living the life we truly love living. Oh, that sounds so exciting. I'm sure that that'll fill up. <laughs> awesome. And we can find you at gazewellness.com, right? Gazewellness.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Awesome. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit because um, I have a question and I just thought that I wanted to ask you if you could name somebody a person in particular, maybe a mentor, a friend, or something that made a big difference in your life and helped you get to where you are today and maybe helped you through some of your um, issues or thoughts or where you, to get you to where you are today, basically. In my business? No, well, it can be anything. Um, I have a lot of mentors, a lot of people that I, that I really, uh, that give me inspiration. Um, I've worked with a couple of coaches, uh, recently, Julia Sarver, uh, Julia Bauman Sarver. I worked with her and, uh, Marlena Munici, I think is her, her, how you pronounce her last name. They both really helped me, um, re really helped me get focused. I don't know. Maybe it was just the time that I, it was time for me to find somebody, but it was like when I worked with them, I just exploded. So oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, that's really exciting. Yeah, sometimes we just have this person in our life. It can even be your child or something or a spouse or a best friend that can just be the person that pushes you and says, you know what, you're like totally capable of so much more or a coach or somebody. Yeah. And like, why aren't you doing this? Like, what's holding you back? What's stopping you? And then we're like, I don't know what is stopping me. I've got to figure this out because it can't be that difficult. Well, I, I think it was more circumstances that made me take this jump, this leap. Um, I just felt like uh, the last couple of corporate jobs that I had, one of them, there were nights I would come home and I would think, I'm going to jump off the roof of my house. <laughs> I hated it so much. But I knew that I wanted other, I wanted more and that it was out there. And then I realized that the only way I was going to get out there, it was never going to come to me. I had to go get it. I have to go get it. So I have to create what it is that I want. Um, nobody's going to bring it to me or create totally. it. Yeah, I had a, I had, I've been an entrepreneur at heart my entire life. And because of a life, midlife crisis <laughs> thing, I had to actually go get a real job. And I thought I was going to, oh, it was the worst thing. It, it was the combination of the place and the, the, people and the boss and the everything and what I was doing as well but I just realized this is so not me like I'm not even 
I can't do this. This isn't me. I've owned successful businesses and now I'm doing this cubicle thing. I just can't do it. I had to just take that leap back out and get like, no, I'm, what was I thinking? I know I'm, I know that I can do more than this. I know I'm not meant for that. Well, that was part of my thing too, is that I felt like uh, for the last 10 years that I was in the corporate world, I felt like I can do so much more than this. I'm, I, there's so much more I can give to the world than just sitting in a cold cubicle wrapped in a blanket, keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I really did. I felt like I can't do this anymore. And um, one of my uh, light bulb moments or turning points, like, or tipping point, I guess it would be, I was, uh, I would get up at 3.45 in the morning and I would catch the bus at five and I would get the, I would take the bus to the metro to the train station and I would get on the train um, by six o'clock and then I would get to my office by like 6.15 in the morning and um, I would leave again. I would meet the people that were on the metro and the bus um, in the morning. They would be sitting with earbuds in and uh, reading, or reading a book, sleeping or something. Nobody talked. Nobody talked. And if you looked at anybody and smiled or anything, they were like, there was like this unwritten law. Nobody talked, you know, nobody talked. You weren't allowed to invade anybody's space. And then at night I would see those same people and they would be doing the same thing. And I remember thinking, I can't live like this. I can day to day to day. Isn't well, that an interesting point that you make? Because sometimes I was just talking to another gal on here the other day about how amazing friends that I have found through online and, and doing these interviews as well. These people that I've connected with and now I'm, um, you know, working with and, and, and um, conglomerating with and just staying connected with through all this online stuff more actively with more communication and more connection than some regular life stuff because it's just the same old like you're in your own headspace and it's not unless you go to say like a networking event in person that you're doing all business stuff well then you're dealing with people and they want to know about you and you want to know about them and it's more it's more open and you're talking and getting to know each other but that day-to-day -day thing where you're just bypassing people on the street there's no connection there yeah, and it's almost like you get into this hum this like hypnotic hum, 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 you know, sitting in traffic and, and sitting on the metro, you know, and everything, and just one foot in front of the other, you know, don't talk, don't, you know, if you say something, somebody smacks you down, you know, and, and like automatrons or whatever it is, you know, robot. <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> like robots or something. Yeah. And it's like this, if you're spending 40, 50 hours a week of your life there and what, uh, 40 or 20 hours, 20, the weekend living, I mean, that's your life. That's your life. And, and it's like, and then you're exhausted on the weekends or that's the way I was. I was exhausted on the weekend. All I wanted to do was sleep. I didn't even have any energy to exercise at that time, you know, and I, I just was like, I can't, I, I can't, I just, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do this. Wow. So. Well, I'm so excited that you're following your passions and uh, tapping into all your, you know, things that excite you and motivate you and interest you and make you want to get up excited in the morning and, Drink your tea. <laughs> yeah, well, it's sort of like uh, all my kids are grown. I have four kids, and they're all off, have their own families. They live away from here. And um, I was thinking about this today. This is my creation. This is uh, what I am creating, and I get to create it the way I want it, want it to be. And I get to choose who I work with, and I get to surround myself with the people that I love being around. You know, and that's my choice. I get to choose that. It's not forced on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, forced out of either pressure or desperation or whatever that circumstance is. And that's okay if we're in that space for a limited time, as long as we know that if that's not where we're, we belong, that we find a way to get out and move forward. Right. Well, I do believe that um, this type of business, these types of businesses, it's a really uh, a personal growth experience and um, totally. <laughs> yeah you do have to 
look inside yourself and um, create uh, or uh, bring out these qualities that you may not have ever been able to express, you know, in a different, if you lived a different life, in a different lifestyle, if, you know, if you chose chosen to be in the corporate world or, you know, because it, it, you have to, it takes a lot of courage, I think. Um, totally, yes. A lot of bravery. <laughs> yes. And a lot of looking fear in the face and, you know, I always say I made friends with fear. You know, I decided that because there are many, many, many things I did that scared the crap out of me, you know, and, and, uh, but I just decided fear is going to be my friend, you know, and I'm just going to hold her hand and we're going to walk together and, and, uh, know that this might, might be, might, uh, be scary, but I, I've done lots of things that are scary. I, when I was, mm -hmm. um, in my early twenties or actually it was my late twenties. I took, I had, I took my two young kids all by myself, um, got sold my house and took them to Australia all by myself. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it was like, uh, well, I, and I got married over there. So, um, that was when I think about, gosh, I just picked my two little kids up and I went, grabbed some suitcases and went all the way across the world, you know. Oh, I want you to be my mom. <laughs> I love you, mom, but you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I wish you never took me across the world like that. That would be really fun, especially if you were a child. Wow, so you've always been um, a woman who's like motivated for to see new places and do new things, obviously, and like, you know. Well, I never thought of myself that way. I really didn't. Um, but um, I guess maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah, know, I, do, <laughs> I do feel like that when those opportunities come, it's almost like, okay, I'm ready. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Just like that trip to Paris. Uh, there was no way I was going to not do that, you know, so I went by myself and um, I met the, it was funny. I, the group that, the it was a tour group uh, winning that trip was with a, a group of people and when I got there and I met all the other people in the group, there happened to be a family that, that was in the group that was from the same town I'm from here in, in Virginia. So that was really unusual. Oh, and, they, and one of them actually had the same birthday that I did. So, so Oh, that, how neat. Yeah, that like, sounds exciting. That's super exciting. And almost like a um, jumping, jumping block from to where you are now because it wasn't that the moment where you kind of made that decision yes yeah yeah yes yeah. yeah and I think being an entrepreneur too just in general like what we were talking about before is like one of the best self-development tools that you could get because you're always growing you're always learning you're trying to be better you're um, trying to build your confidence get more like you said facing fear in the face and and everything else to do all these big live your big dreams and hit those big goals and Mm -hmm. do all the things that we know are meant for. It's really exciting. Well, I'm not, I don't know if it's this particular type of these types of businesses that are more of uh, like heart centered businesses or if it's, or if it's really when you're any kind of business that you're starting on your own, that it is a personal growth uh, or if it, you know, like if you're just selling cars or something, you know, if, if it's, if you have to do the same type of personal growth, you know, uh, do you think, or? I think it's when you're uh, self-employed in, in general. So when you're self-employed and you have a business that you're passionate about, you're going to have to think out of the box and get creative and, and start like mastering your mindset because things are going to get crazy and you need to be creative and you need to come up with marketing strategies and you need to um, go out of your comfort zone a lot. And try new things and meet new people, whether it's a brick and mortar or online, right? You're going to have to reach out and meet new people and start networking and share your cards and, and promote your business. And that takes courage. And some people that haven't had a business, that's very scary. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a <laughs> different mindset. It's a, for me, it's been a whole different skill set uh, um, that I've, and I haven't learned all, you know, why anyway, all of it. Um, I have learned a little bit, you know, I think that's, that has been working for me, um, or that is starting to work for me. But, um, like when I think back in 2011, 
um, where I was back then and where I am now, totally different. I'm totally different than I was back then. Isn't so. that interesting? Very cool. Yeah. Well, I love your positive spirit and I'm just so glad to have you and grateful that you came on and um, like I'm going to promote, we're going to promote and put a link underneath the, this video to your midlife magic program and get that all um, uh, up there. So everybody who wants can join. And if you want to get a hold of Gail, it's at gailswellness.com. And is there anything else you want to share about your new projects and anything on the horizon? Well, that my big dream is to do the international retreat. So at some point I'll be offering that. You know, I'll oh, be exciting. on these wonderful adventures so that all of us can get to a place where we can um, take care of ourselves and appreciate all the beauty in the world and learn what we can offer to the world, too. So, the beauty oh, I love of it. Cool. I'm coming along. I'm coming in your luggage. Oh, <laughs> it sounds so much fun. Well, thanks so much, Gail. I just loved having you. What a blast. I love your personality, your bubbly inspiration. Oh, thank personality. you so much. And thank you thank for you having so much me. For being here. You're so welcome. It was such a it was such a pleasure. So thanks to everybody who's watching. Um, if you want to get more information and be be interviewed on the hen house and promote your um, your business and your programs and your well creative business your creative woman in business i'd love to have you and uh thanks a lot gail i thank hope you. that uh you have a wonderful um time with your new program and we will talk soon thanks everybody bye bye